Hello everyone, it's Quick Flash, and today I'm going to be covering the BlueJ ESC software. Now, the BlueJ ESC software is an ESC software that is a fork of BL Heli S. So you may have heard of BL Heli M or JESC. Both of those are also forks of BL Heli S. However, both of those are also no longer being contributed to and are really dead. I mean, you can still use them and they're still fine, but no further developments going on there. However, this BlueJ software is being worked on and has lots of cool new things coming out. So, um, to just get into things, um, to find the project, you can find it on GitHub. It's called BlueJ. I'll put the link in the description. Um, once you're here, if you want to try the software, You'll click here to go to the BlueJ configurator and you'll click assets and you'll download, you know, the correct configurator. I've already got it downloaded right here. We've got a cool picture of a BlueJ. Pretty fun. Um, also, just for your knowledge, when you do flash this, you'll have different startup beeps. Um, I'll try to get these on the speaker when I plug in my battery might not pick it up but I, I prefer these tones to the normal um, the normal BL heli tones I think they're just a bit more fun but here we go okay I don't know if you picked that up but I guess I'll see later the tone is different so let's connect my drone here and it failed there we go Okay, we've connected, we've plugged in the battery, so in order to read your ESCs, you've got to plug in your battery, so you should be taking your props off to keep yourself from hurting yourself, but here we go. This is what the configurator looks like. For, so for those of you that are flashing this software, you'll want to click this flash all button, and you'll want to select the latest version. And you'll want to select your PWM frequency. And I wouldn't just automatically go, oh, it has 96 kilohertz, so I should use that. Um, I would personally test things. I found with certain setups that 96 kilohertz flies awful. It flies absolutely terrible. It has bobbles. And it just will not work. And then I go down to 48 or even 24 kilohertz, and those wobbles are gone, and it flies great. So really... Whether or not 96 kilohertz or 48 or 24 is going to work right for you really depends on your motor and your prop combo, well as well as your speed controller. So your ESC, motor, and prop combo, all of those will play a role into which PWM frequency will work the best. Do I know what the magic, you know, do I have some magic formula that will tell you which PWM frequency to go to? No, I don't. But I do know from testing that 96 isn't always good, 24 is not always the best, 48 is not always the best, it, it really just depends. So I'd play around with that if you flash it and you know you don't like your PWM frequency, if it seems like the motors are acting weird, I would go here. Anyhow, back to the setup. Um, there's a few things I would like to mention. Um, this does look a little bit different. Um, this minimum startup power and this maximum startup power, this is kind of a way for um, and with this software there's a kind of a kick when you arm um, it's not super crazy but um, it just helps arm your motors a bit better which also helps with 3d mode which is cool and so the minimum startup power the higher you raise that the more of a kick it'll have and the maximum startup power is you know kind of the highest that it can kick up and like I said, it's kind of the protection. Here we have motor timing, like normal. We have temperature protection, like normal. It's the same as normal BL Heli. DMAD compensation, the same. And then this RPM protec protection is the ramp up settings. And really, these are just a multiplier of how quickly your speed controller can speed up the motors. The default's nine. That should work for most people. Um, 13 is more aggressive. It allows your motors to 
try to speed up quicker. Um, but that can sometimes, you know, cause problems. It can be a little less safe. If you choose one, your ESC is probably not going to spin your motors as quickly, like change the RPMs. So um, you probably don't need to play with that. Beep strength and beacon strength, that's the same. The startup beep melody, if you don't want it to give you extra beeps, you can just have it give you one beep for when you plug in and then the two beeps for verifying that you're connected. I'd recommend to keep the melody because, you know, you plug it in and you walk away from your quad, the melody is already finished and I like the little jingle. And then here you'll see dithering. Um, that's a new thing. Well, the code's been doing dithering for a long time, but basically dithering is the code automatically changing your ESC output. So you might give, you know, the ESC a value of 1000 or let's let's just say giving it 50% you're using DSHOT and you're giving a 50% command. Um, the dithering will actually move your you know, move that command around internally in the speed controllers. And the reason why they would want to do that is sometimes your ESC can run into some harmonics with your motor and some funky things can happen around certain points. And so they just add their own dithering to prevent that. And the dithering is really just randomly moving your motor around, um, well, around the output that you're telling it to. And that's stuff that already goes on in the firmware. Um, you know, the BlueJ firmware has just improved the dithering a little bit and allowed you to disable it. So I'd recommend that that's enabled. Um, another thing to note is that in BlueJ, the bidirectional uses different logic. So in normal BL Hell yes, if you want to use a bidirectional, so you want to do 3D mode, you would normally, so if I was using normal BL Heli and I wanted to switch this setup to be 3D capable, with normal BL Heli I would select, since I, since this motor is reversed, I would actually select just bidirectional. And for all my normal ESCs I'd select bidirectional reversed. In BlueJ that has been reversed. The logic has been made the way you would think it should be. So if you have a reversed motor you'll pick bidirectional reversed. If you have a normal motor, it'll be bidirectional. That's a really nice update because that's been something that's been confusing for a long time. And really the last thing that BlueJ also brings to the table is it does allow for RPM filtering in beta flight with the bidirectional D-Shot. It supports D-Shot 300 and 600. I'm not sure if it supports other D-Shots. I can check the page here uh, but it's really quite nice yeah you can check out the wiki well the github yourself look at things he's got some nice tables showing you exactly what things are doing um, and how it kind of compares to BL Heli you know BL Heli S so you can take a look at that you can of course go to the change log and see what he's been changing and it's, you know, kind of cool to see this and see all these changes that he's making, all these improvements that are coming along. Another cool thing is if you come into the release section, you can see all of the releases that he's had. It's taken a second. Something that's cool, you can see that this version was actually released today. Just 10 hours ago. And when was the version before this released? If I can scroll past all of these thousands of ESC X's. All right, we can see that version 9 was just 12 days ago. Well, 0 0.9 and 0 0.8 was 21 days ago. So something that I love personally about this project is that it's being actively worked on. And another really great thing is the issues tab. If you come in here and you mention any issues or any requests that you have, he's willing to listen. He's, you know, Matthias is 
a, a cool guy and he's pushing the code. So I'd really love to see more people testing this and giving him feedback on things, which is really why I'm making this video, because I enjoy seeing the hobby grow and I enjoy seeing other people push the hobby. And I think that Matthias is doing that and that he doesn't have really much um, publicity right now and so I'm hoping to give a little bit more publicity on the subject so I've just made this quick little video on how to flash it and how to configure it it's basically the same as BL Heli but it's being actively developed and there's being improvements made so if I were you I would go out and give Blue J a try on your BL Heli S speed controllers and give it a go and if you really like it you know, potentially ask Matthias, you know, give him suggestions. Talk to him about things. I mean, I've spoken to him and he's willing to potentially even add music, like startup tone music to BL, to these BL Heli SESCs, and that would be awesome. You know, the ability to have those startup tones where we can have our own custom tones and do all sorts of cool stuff. Um, you know, this is a project that I would love to contribute to more. Um, the big painful part of this is just that the code is written in assembly language, which I don't know how to write. So if any of you understand assembly and want to help out, I would, you know, highly recommend it. Um, you know, reach out to Matthias and see what you can do. But this is a really cool project and I hope that you guys, you know, can also see the value in this and, you know, potentially help, you know, help this gain some popularity and help Matthias out with some of the work that he's done because, you know, he's, he's put in a fair, a fair bit of work. I mean, if we look here, there's been 254 commits. If we look at the BL Hell ES that he based it off of, Um, you know, he's really done a lot, because, you know, BL Hell ES, it's got 468 commits. And if we see back here, Matthias has done 250 commits. You know, he's, he's been putting in, he's been putting in work. So, really, I think we should, you know go out of our way to help this guy he's really trying to make things better and yeah just you know help support these great open source projects that are in the hobby it's cool to see people just going out of their way to help make our drones fly a little bit better well i hope you found this informative and i hope that you all get a chance to try blue jay um if you do try blue jay and you enjoy it you know you should reach out to matthias and you know thank him for what he's done um, you know possibly let other people know about Blue Jay and spread the word you know because I'm sure that'll help him out with his project but thanks for watching and have a good one everyone